Hello world, I'm John Oliver. I'm a developer at Sparkbox and I'm here with a series of videos about automated testing. Specifically, we'll be talking about automated accessibility testing and how to combine the power of end-to-end -end tests with accessibility tests in order to achieve maximum awesomeness. Now, first, I have a confession. When it comes to accessibility, I am not the most awesome. Luckily for me, I have the great fortune to work with an inspiring group of people who are very knowledgeable in that area. But what do you do when you don't have that luxury? Well, friend, don't fret because we're going to talk about a few tools that can not only help improve the accessibility of your sites, but can also help you learn best accessibility practices in the process. The first tool that I want to talk about is Axe. So Axe is a tool for performing automated accessibility audits on a web page. It can help you identify issues like color contrast and problems with your markup that can make it difficult to use your site with a screen reader. One of the quickest ways to get started with Axe is to install it as a browser extension for Chrome or Firefox. Today I'm going to use Chrome. So I have this web page that I put together and I think it looks pretty good. But please don't tell our designers that I'm still using the old logo because I'm too lazy to switch it out. Anyway, now that we've installed the Axe browser extension in Chrome, we can go over to the developer tools. And when we open them, we'll see that there is a new Axe tab available. Right here. So in this tab, we can see the page we're analyzing. And when I click on the Analyze button, it'll give me a report of all of the accessibility issues that Axe found on the page. So for example, we can see that I don't have sufficient color contrast for some elements. Axe has identified three elements. And if I'd like to see what those elements are, I can go down here and click highlight and that'll highlight the first failing element on the page. Then I can go over and cycle through the other elements that have that same issue. So if we look below, we can see that there's a description of the issue along with information about how we can fix it. So this is already pretty useful. We have some other issues here as well. For example, our logo image doesn't have any alt text. Uh, the logo is also a link and the link doesn't contain any discernible text either. So this is helpful to run on a single page, but what do we do when we want to test a larger site and how can we automate that? Well, the fine folks at DQ have made the core functionality of Axe open source. So if we look at the top here, we can see that next to the plugin version, it shows the version of Axe Core. And this is a link that takes us to the Axe Core repo on GitHub. And if we scroll down here, we can see that Axe Core is installable as a package on NPM. So that's awesome, but how can we automate Axe to run across a whole site? There are a few options, but in the next few videos, I'm going to go over how we can integrate Axe with one of my favorite testing tools, Cypress. So stay tuned for the next video where we'll give a quick intro to testing with Cypress. See you then. Thanks for watching.